I'm Ed Dominguez, and today we're getting wild about backyard bird feeding stations. You know, going out and looking at birds is great, but what if you could bring the birds in to where you live so you could watch them close to home? It's easy to do if you set up a bird feeding station in your backyard, on your front porch, if you live in an apartment or a condo, on your balcony or deck. We'll show you what kinds of food works best for birds, what kind of feeders to put them in, and then we'll talk a little bit about the kinds of birds you can expect to see at your feeders. So let's explore how to set up a backyard bird feeding station. There are many feeder designs available to accommodate your space. Some models can suction cup to a window, others are designed to hang in your yard. A tube feeder like this that holds bird seed is the best year-round food you can offer birds. This tube feeder is actually two tubes in one, an inner tube that holds the seed and an outer tube that's a cage. Why two tubes? Squirrels. Squirrels will readily go for your bird seed and clean you out in no time. Now I love having all kinds of wildlife come to the yard, so I'll show you a way you can give squirrels a treat later on but keeping them out of your bird seed will be good for your pocketbook in terms of your seed supply. This design allows your seed to be reserved for the birds, which can easily land on the outer cage and put their head through to the inner cage where they get the seed as needed. So if you have squirrels in your neighborhood, and I certainly have them in my yard, you'll want to use this design, a double tube squirrel proof feeder. What type of seed to put in your tube feeder? Here in the Pacific Northwest, I recommend black oil sunflower. This is a small sunflower seed with an easy to open shell by all birds that provides high protein, high fat. It's essentially superfood for birds. You can have it out year round and it gives birds great nutrition when they come to your feeder. If you live in a condo or, or an apartment and you don't want the shelled mess, there's a shell version that we call patio mix. Basically the same seed, black oil sunflower, that's been shelled, put in a roller and crushed, and they add a bit, few bits of cracked corn, some peanuts, and some thin black seed called Niger. Again, equally high protein, high fat, great food for the birds without the shell mess. So black oil sunflower, either in the shell or shelled, makes the best food you can put in your seed feeders here in the Pacific Northwest. Hang your tube feeder up and the birds will come in to eat. You notice I have a plastic shield above my tube feeder to act as a rain guard and also help to keep squirrels from trying to jump down on the feeder. You don't need to have that, just the tube feeder is fine, but the shield provides a little extra protection. Now, we don't want to forget our elegant jewels of the bird world, the hummingbirds. So you'll want to have a hummingbird feeder set up to bring in our local Anna's hummingbirds that live in our area. Let's show you how to make nectar and some features about this feeder. The recipe is simple. Two cups of water in a pot on the stove, bring it to a boil, then stir in a half a cup of plain granulated white sugar. Please don't use any molasses, honey, any additives, just pure cane sugar is the best. The four to one ratio, four parts water to one part sugar, most closely mimics the sugar content of nectar that the hummingbirds find when they feed at plants. And you wanna match that sugar proportion. Stir in the sugar so it doesn't stick to the bottom, let it cool, and then fill your hummingbird feeder. Keeping your hummingbird feeder clean is important for the health of the birds. Mold and mildew can build up in the ports, so a handy brush like this helps keep the ports clean. And particularly in warm weather, you'll want to change out the nectar at least once a week because the sugar can ferment in the heat. And you want to give your hummingbirds the most nutritious and healthy possible nectar. Your homemade nectar will draw in the hummingbirds like a magnet. Please don't add any red food coloring as that's unhealthy for the birds. The red on the feeder will catch the bird's eye. Another great source for birds in certain times of the year is suet. Suet is beef fat from around the kidneys that's been rendered so it doesn't go rancid and melt and put into cakes. 
Some suet cakes have added sunflower seeds, some have peanut shells, insect bits. I prefer the suet that's filled with cayenne pepper, hot pepper suet. Why? When squirrels go to nibble on this suet, it's like they bit into a hot chili and get flaming mouth. Birds can't detect capsaicin, so they can eat the suet and not taste a thing. I hang the suet from a cage feeder in a tree such as this, but only from about Halloween to Mother's Day. In the hot months of the year, even the rendering won't prevent the suet from melting, and the melting fat could soil the bird's breast feathers. We don't want to do that. So from Halloween to mid-May, suet is a great food choice that's high fat and high energy for our birds. Peanuts in the shell are nutritious food that your squirrels can enjoy and are loved by Stellar's Jays. Setting up a bird feeding station is very rewarding. You can sit with your morning cup of coffee or your favorite evening beverage and watch the birds come in to feed. Here in Seattle at my feeder, I get a great variety of birds. House finches, black cap chickadees, chestnut back chickadees, red breasted nut hatches, song sparrows, dark eyed juncos, white crown sparrows, golden crown sparrows. Even Buick's wrens come in and they're not even seed feeders. But my backyard birds don't like to see this guy, a cooper's hawk, a native raptor that preys on songbirds. The other day I looked out my window and this juvenile cooper's hawk was on my backyard fence. This coop was looking to make a meal of one of my backyard birds. Fortunately, they saw him coming and they all took cover and the raptor went away empty handed, but not before doing his business and then flying off to my neighbor's yard to see if the pickings were any better over there. Backyard bird feeding stations. Why wouldn't you? The world of nature is waiting for you at your home. So get outdoors, stay curious, and please hit subscribe and join me for more Getting Wild.